Okay, welcome back again guys, Nolly is here, so today we gonna play Conwon. Um, last time we played the first version of the game, kemarin kami main version gamenya yang, yang dianya masih kecil. Nah, ini dianya udah gede, jadi kita lihat, mari kita lihat gimana mainnya. Tapi gamenya ini ada four ending. The game has four ending, guys. So we gonna choose how we gonna play the game and which path we can choose. Gimana cara mainnya? Apa kisahnya? Ending yang mana kamu nya mau? Mari kita lihat dulu. Let's start the game. Thank you very much for trying out Koma. Would you like the basic tutorial? Okay. Huh, ini tutorialnya guys. Kamu kalau mau ya bisa aja. Uh, kalau gak mau, lihat tutorialnya skip aja. Skip, skip through text so you can move through story delicately. You can swift, uh, specifically with our blah 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 screenshot. Nah, ini bisa screenshotnya juga, guys. Check the log title with log. Okay. The log brings up history of lineup until now in case you miss anything. This bottom open up a menu. Ini buat menunya, bisa keluar, bisa save. You can add additional features. Nah, itu buat keluar. Keluar ke main menu. Itu kalau mau save progress. Mm -hmm. Progress from here. You can load your progress from here. Okay. Change the setting here. Color change setting. Ya kalau mau help, mau info selanjutnya, ya klik itu. Most of these features can be accessed via shortcut keys. Shortcuts can be viewed and rebound in the setting. If you are usually using control, you can use the left joystick to navigate and south. Okay, please note that the game does not have what to save. If you quit from the standard scene, so please save your save or return to the main menu. Thanks for listening to this tutorial. I hope you enjoy the game. Kalau kecepatan, saya bacanya pause as the game. Pause aja game nya. Oh ya, udah kecepatan, kecepatan saya. She choked. For being around the small flashlight crunch between her teeth, blah blah blah. Hey, 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 on. Okay. She needs to hurry. The sun was already starting to rise. Ini Nelly. Mana dia nya? Dia masih di jalan. Um, it was okay. There were only three left. Huh? Three, three apa? Nelly drove her wheel down, pedaling with renewed vigor. She raised herself from the seat, leaning over the handles of the bike, as she frantically turned the pedals, going faster and faster, and faster until. Uh, ini dia nya pergi cepat cepat. Kemana kamu nya pergi? Pergi ya ke apa kabur? Snap! Taro right through of Nelly as she was flung over the handles of her bike. Berterbang dia nya jatuh. She Instinctively covered her face with her arm before she hit the ground. Her shoulders smacked against the concrete, and the jolt of pain tore through the right side of her body. Jatuh dia nya. Ini jatuh kena kecepatan sepeda. Right side, right side of her body. For a moment, she lay on the road, trying to steady her shaky breath. A throbbing pain sucked into a dull edge. Subside. Jadi dia jatuh pakai um, tangannya biar muka agak uh, sakit. As soon as she heard stop spinning, she pulls herself up on her elbow. Um, she rotated her shoulder. It still hurt, but she could move it without any issues. Okay, gak apa-apa. Mungkin Her knees and arms stung too. At first, she was 
going to check them for a but then she stopped herself. Kenapa kamu nya stop? She got up on her knees and looked around, squinting in an attempt to pierce the murkness of the early dawn light. Heart pounding, she patted the ground all around her. Kuat benar ini jatuhnya. She found it. She breathed a sigh of relief. The yellow bag had fallen off the side. She pulled it closer and examined carefully. Hmm. Tasnya kuning warnanya. The zipper, the zipper was shut tight. Everything was still inside. Semua bahannya masih dalam tasnya. Tapi bahan apa yang di dalam tasnya? She slung the bag back, the bag back over her shoulders and retrieved the falling flashlight before returning her attention to her bike. It had collapsed on its side. We are still smelling. The chain had come undone, wrapped over the ground like a dead snap. Chainnya, chainnya rusak. She picked up the chain. It was strangely slack. Nelly. Oh, siapa tuh? She looked up. Cold tangles on run, run down her neck and through her spine, spending chills, sending chills running all the way to her fingers and toes. Apa kamu nyes? Raku was standing over there. Raku, come on. Raku is a good day, guys. Hmm, handsome dude. Itu spider-nya guys. Gemba spider-nya. Masih dia nyo. Her ex. Hah? Ex-boyfriend? Kenapa? The tall young man peered down at her with his icy eyes from under the fring of her badly dyed hair. Diwarnain. Rambutnya dia nyo juga. What was he doing here? How could he be here right now at this exact moment right when she was she would have done anything to avoid seeing him Kenapa kamu juga mau bertemu sama dia nya Ini dia yang handsome cakep What are you doing here Uh I'm going for a bike ride none of your business Um saya mau jadi mean mini sekarang jadi None of your business. That's none of your business, is it? You. Yeah. Right. Mm. Okay. He sheepish, sheepish, sheepishly rubbed the back of his neck. I was out for a walk myself. Drank too many energy drinks to power through the night, so I'm trying to burn off some of the caffeine. Mm, okay. His blood. Anyway, uh, are you all right? Fell off your bike? He extended a hand. Nelly didn't take it. She stood up and slung the bag around her shoulder again, ignoring the mud and twigs stuck to her raincoat. Hmm, pakai jas hujan dia juga. Hmm, kenapa kamu juga mau sama dia nya? Ini ada bermasalah. Mungkin salahnya gede. Raku smiled awkwardly and retracted the hand before kneeling by her bike. Hmm. Dia nya cek bike nya, sepeda nya. Your chain. Ah. Oh, chain nya rusak. Ah, it's broken. Rantai sepeda nya rusak. What? Raku picked up the broken ends of the chain and waved them around. Yeah. Don't think you'll be able to ride it for a while, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunate. You're heading home, right? Yeah. Me too. I'll walk with you. Okay, man. Let's walk if you want. But I'm trying to be mean to you. So you cannot be. So you won't be close at all. Nelly voice cut in her throat. She tried to think of some excuse. Anything that she could blurt out to make him go away. But she couldn't. Think of anything. <sighs> Raku face softened with a melancholic expression. Malan. We don't have to talk. Melancholic. Something. I just don't want to leave you alone out here. Not after what happened to Sana. Hmm. Something happened to Sana. 
Sana, Sapa Sana and Nelly bit her lips. Something went wrong. She bit her lip. There is something. Sana, her roommate, and her best friend since middle school had vanished three months ago. Oh, Sana itu temen yang akrab. A week later, her body was found at the bottom of a cliff in this very forest, mangled beyond recognition. Okay, that's tragic hiking accident. Huh, I'm fine, alright. Uh, I'm fine, I guess. Yes. I'm fine. I don't need you to escort me. Oh, I'm trying to be mean to you. Haku frowned. Okay. I'm sorry, but I can't abandon you here knowing your bike's broken. I don't care if you hate me. Just let me walk with you. Want me to carry the bag for you? No! Nelly jerk away. Say nothing, it's heavy. Let's, um... Say nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna say it, it's heavy. I don't want to bother you with it. Alright, I will make any excuses, I guess. He didn't respond. Instead, he placed both hands on the bike handles and saw to walk it down the road. Look at him. Why you even leave him? To Nelly real life, Raku stayed true to his walk. Normally, he was quite talkative, rumbling to her about whatever nerdy hobby captivated him that week. Now, he didn't say a word. In fact, he was barely looking at her. He just continued walking, only coughing and occasional glance at Nelly to make sure he was walking beside her. When she was certain that he wasn't looking, Nelly peeked at her expression out of the corner of her eyes. <coughs> the circle under her his eyes were as dark as ever, permanently tattered in the remainders of his heroic sleeping habit. They stood out darkly against the anemic power of his skin. <coughs> yeah, he got the white skin. <coughs> it was usually the other side, but he looked even sickly than normal. Maybe he hadn't been getting enough sleep. Yeah, he wasn't able to go sleep. Dia gak bisa tidur. Kenapa? Karena kuliah apa enggak? Other students at their university use copious amounts of caffeine. To feel last minute homework assignments or late night crime session. But Nelly knew better. Hmm. Kenapa dia juga mau tidur? Raku had definitely stayed up all night riding with his goat in his latest MMORPG arcade addiction. Ichenda online. He conscripted her on a few occasions, giving her pray. Precise instruction on what buttons to press while he ran to the bathroom. Hmm, dia ni kan senang main MMO, MMO, MMO RPG. Those probably should have been better memories, but strangely enough, Nelly didn't hate those evenings. <coughs> she would lie on his bed, planting turnips and petting cows on her handle console. And every once in a while, he would turn to her and grumble about a like, like days ago, teammate or a celebrate, celebrate or to her close call, close, close call. Oh, um, yeah, some some picture. She wondered if his ride went well. He had complained about terrible drops for the past two months. Did he finally get the item that he wanted? Hmm. 
Trouble Drops for the past two months. Okay, dapat kamu yang disenangi, yang ingin kamu dapat apa enggak? Something hit her face. She reached up and whipped the raindrop, striking down her forehead. But as soon as she did that, another droplet hit her face, and then another, and another. Hujan, ini hujan. Soon, a torrent of water was assaulting them. Nelly drew her hood over her head, guarded from the one lord's onslaught by her raincoat. Raku wasn't Nelly so lucky. Okay, Raku didn't have a raincoat, but Nelly had. Nelly over had there! It. He grabbed her hand, ushering her to an old bus stop at the side of the road. When they entered, Raku wheeled the bike inside, leaning it against the back wall. Lucky. Glad this was here. Yeah. He whipped his face with his sleeve and ran a hand through his hair. You were even luckier, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? He pointed at her coat. I'm surprised you thought to wear a raincoat. Rain wasn't anywhere on the weather forecast this morning. It was kind of humid, so. Hmm. Huh. Raku seemed to accept the explanation. He leaned the bike to the side and looked on the inside of the bus stop. I wonder if the buses still come to this stop. There's no sign. Hmm, he took his phone out of the pack of his jeans and whipped it on. He switched switch up uh, for something throw. No reception. Can't load anything. I thought you, you are in the wood. He squinted and we saw the gray sky. Yeah, like Maybe it'll stop soon. No choice but to wait. Santai aja kalau hujan ini mantis kalau bisa. He propped himself at the bench, crossing his leg and leaning his elbow on his knee. Nelly chewed her thumb, laughing, and the raindrops fell all around them. Should she leave? But if she did that, he might be suspicious. And she couldn't abandon her bike here, her bag wasn't waterproof either. Hmm. She brushed off the bench and sat down too. Okay. Udah. Santai aja duduk berdua. Raku tried to hide his mind. He rubbed the back of his knee and looked all around and the inside of the bus stop. His gas praying. To every knock and cranny before finally landing on Nelly. So, what have you been up to lately? <laughs> hey. Nothing hey. much. Working on my thesis. Mm -hmm. What should I ask about him? No, I'm gonna be so much care. Talk about your thesis. Been spending most of my time in lab. The results are. Disappointing so far. Uh huh. Oh. Raku was in completely different one. He would. He had no way of knowing if she would like. Okay. What department? Disappointing. How? Nelly wanted to course. Normally, she would have invited questions about academics since school was half of her personality, but. It's really not the time for it. It's not the time for it. Um, too much variation in the results to make any conclusions. Maybe it's my technique, or the experimental design. Uh -huh. hmm. <sighs> well, you're brilliant and you work harder than anyone, so I know you'll work it out. Mm. You're very, very optimistic. Nella tried to smile, and her mouth just tightened. She appreciated Raku's optimism, but the issue at hand wasn't easy to solve. Uh, issue at hand was easy hey. to solve. He locked her up and down before falling, scrutinizing with the mouth on her leggings and raincoat. 
Lonely shrank on the tentative appraisal. Mm, okay. You're hurt. Huh? Nobody has a kid. She looked down. As she sat on the bench, the rancor was pulled up, revealing her knees. Oh, karena dia jatuh. Kakinya yang sakit. Holes had been ripped in both of her leggings, exposing the skin underneath. One knee and one had small red patches where it had been rubbed raw against the ground. Yang sakit kalau jatuh semens. The other had been completely seen, blood rained down in the dark, uh, crimson river light staining her living on a muddy puddle. Nelly blinked. Why hadn't she felt anything? Was it cold? Or adrenaline? Adrenaline. Raccoon held by her knees and rummaged around her inner jacket pocket, fishing out a white handkerchief. How nice of you. Hmm. Sayang benar aku ya sama Delinya. Makan ini gak mau sama dia nih. He whipped the blood that was trickling down her leg before grabbing his atten- driving his attention to the wound. He dabs it carefully, whipped the exposed uh, flesh. Okay, what a nice ex-boyfriend. But there is something that why she wouldn't. That why they broke up. Ada masalahnya ini kan medianya. Ini ada masalah. Apa masalahnya? Nelly gak mau sama aku. Her ex-boyfriend had unfortunately spent all his skill points on his academic smarts, coding skill, and gaming pros. Yeah, okay. They are common code, gaming pros, computer science. He was surely, he was sorry lacking in most of my basics there was always a 50 chance that his toes would emerge completely shared he kept his papers in haphazardly organized files on the floor okay somehow he even managed to sew an entire shirt sleeve Shot while attempting to yeah, reattach a bottom. The bottom was sadly not attached. Okay. <laughs> but he was always matter cause no matter how small the task, that could extend it one twenty one hundred twenty efforts. Okay, he got good. He would fuse for an hour while reducing the cream sauce to the perfect consistency. Uh uh-huh, okay. When he did her laundry, he carefully smoothed out every wrinkle. Smooth out every wrinkle. When she went out of town and asked him to take care of her cat, he shared a spreadsheet with her detailing every aspect of the pet car, of the pet's care. As she watched him pains taking me, taking me, try to remove every speck of dirt from her, scrap me, those little, numerous little throw nellies had refusing to leave no matter how hard she tried to push them away. Yeah, ingat, memory memory floated over her head, her mind was foggy, and her head tightened. Does it hurt? Unfortunately, all I have is this. Shoot, I wish we were at home. This needs to be clean with ethanol. Does that hurt? Tell me if it hurts. <sighs> I'm fine. Her knees didn't hurt, but the side they tracked to kneeling next to her worry and tending to her scraps and bruises. They had broken up. She should have been a stranger to him. Less than a stranger. Mm, yeah. I could tie the handkerchief around the scrap, making sure that it wasn't too tight. 
How's that? Okay. Oh, oh, it's fine. Oh. Okay. Um, save or banga. Okay, you need auto save now. Auto auto save now. Okay. Uh. Okay, okay, let's continue. It's fine. I'm fine. I don't need your help because I'm trying to be mean. He swallowed the lump in his throat, bubbles bub bub in his face, using to disappear. Somehow the blood got on the outside of your coat too. Not a lot though. He scrapped a few spots on the bottom of the raincoat. Uh -huh. Okay. How detailed he can be. He gave her coat one last whip with the handkerchief before getting up and returning to, the, to his seat. I'm sorry, I didn't notice you were hurt. I like how they played... I said it's okay. I like how they displayed the character images. They stood in silence for around 10 minutes, but as they sat, Nelly could tell that Raku was growing increasingly tense. His leg on the chair on his leg. Hmm. Finally, he turned towards her. Nelly, can we talk? Nelly thought he wanted to talk. Of course he did. Because Nelly... Probably she, she was the one who asked to drop her. They had dated for almost a year and a half. They had even discussed their future plans together. If Raku had sent her a text out of the blue saying, I'm breaking up with you, then she would have had a question too. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Why? She didn't want to talk or explain, which was why she had avoided him for two weeks after sending the text. Yeah, Nelly, kenapa kamu nyadi? Itu sama dia nya. She had eluded him very successfully until this moment. That is... I can understand her feeling. My first is... Was it something I did? Did I do something wrong? No, you didn't, man. Uh, I'm trying to be mean. Should I that? Or I don't need to explain myself. Um, I don't owe you an explanation. I want to break up. You should respect that. Yeah. You're not even willing to say one sentence? Mm. We were talking about moving in together a month ago. I don't understand how your feelings change so quickly. It does change quickly because there is something happening. I don't want to tell you. Seemingly I can understand what Nelly... She is hiding something from him. And she doesn't want him to get... Well, yeah, just did. Yeah, she doesn't want to know. She looked down and twisted her fingers together. She hesitated to say anything further. It felt like she was standing on the edge of the bicep, and single wood wouldn't send her moving into the abbeys. That is, is it because of what I did to Ji Hoon? Because I didn't apologize? No, not that. I don't think so. He gritted his teeth. You know why I did it. You heard all those things he was saying about Sana. Insisting that she was addicted to social media, saying she probably fell because she was trying to take a cute selfie with the sunrise. Mm. How could he say that? About his own girlfriend. He deserved more than one punch. What? Oh, boyfriend ya kayak gitu sama girlfriend ya? Oh, the bike. Nelly's, Nelly's mouth tightened. Hmm. She wanted to protest to say that wasn't it. In reality, Raku outpost had been gratifying. Yeah, at the at the memorial, at the memorial, she sat in silence, trying to ignore Jihoon capsule, so that she could focus on. Only in Sana, the second felt like crawling out. She wanted to sew Su Jiyun's mouth shut. But 
ex that boyfriend or Sana. Wait. When Raku finally hit him, it felt as if Raku had taken all her bubbly indignation and anger and shoved it in Jihun's face. I would have done that if I was in Nelly's face. Uh, stay silent. It's not that. I should stay silent. Mm. When I asked for your number the first time, I didn't really think you'd give it to me. Mm -hmm. After all, you're you, and I'm me. I didn't think I had a shot with you. But I had to ask. I would have cursed myself if I didn't even try. And you gave it to me. And then you said yes when I asked you out for lunch. And then you kept saying yes. Oh. I was so happy. But I also thought that maybe you just viewed me as your gaming friend. So I asked, is this a date? And then you laughed and said, of course it's a date. At that moment, I felt this pang in my chest. Really, man? I realized something. All of the messy, revolting things that had happened up until that point. The vile vulgarity of my own existence. It was because I had already spent all the luck I had in this lifetime to meet you. Uh -huh. I had never met anyone like you before. Even though life hasn't been kind to you, you always find room in your heart to be kind to others. People, plants, animals. Even something as little and creepy and disgusting as an insect. Oh, how sweet. I still remember when you found a spider in your apartment. Not a small one either. It was perched on the wall above your bed, barely holding on with three broken legs. You reached out and caught it in your hands. It would have been so easy to squish it right then and there. But you didn't. You opened the window and let it go. At that moment, I knew you were special. Really special. I don't remember that at all. Did I do that? I could laugh. <laughs> you did. I guess you wouldn't remember. It was such a small thing. But I remembered. No. He's so sweet, guys. Raku turned towards Lily and slowly extended his hand around her. She stiffened slightly, but she didn't push him away. Hmm. You know how you go through life and you meet all these different people, but none of them really know you. Yeah. You'll meet and you'll talk about what movie just came out, or what assignment is due next in class, or what food they're serving in the cafeteria. Mm. But you can never tell them about the real you. It's like you rush together for a second, and then the next, you're each going your separate ways. And when you stop taking classes together, or you move away, you never see those people again. Yeah. I know that feeling. And your life isn't any different in the end. Because they didn't really know you. And that's why I like to stay alone. But you're different, Nelly. You know me. In some ways, you know me better than my closest friends. And even my family. You know things about me that I can never tell anyone else. Mm. And if I couldn't see you anymore, then my life would be different. There would be a big, gaping hole where you used to be. Really, man? Okay. He's also unconsidered. Nelly does love him also. She has the same feeling for him. But she's trying to protect him. Losing you terrifies me. I'm afraid that no one else would be able to know me the way you do. 
that I won't be able to open up to anyone else the way I opened up to you. And I don't want anyone else to know me the way you do, because they wouldn't be you. Yeah, I know. I didn't know you felt that way about me. Nelly, ada masalahnya kamu nih. Apa kamu juga mau ngomong? Benar dia harus dia try to hold her tighter. Let's I don't want to break up. Tapi Nelly-nya mau protect Rakunya. Dia tahu ini. Kalau saya Nelly, saya begitu juga. Tapi apa masalahnya? I love you, Nelly. I never want to love anyone but you. You don't feel the same? Not at all? You're making me feel bad, man. I know he's trying to protect you. I know that for sure. There is something going on and you don't know it. That's it. Huh. But... Um... I am in the mini... Walkthrough now. What should I say? Do I need to explain it to him? Or not? Hmm. Look at that face, guys. Nelly stayed silent, but she unconsciously leaves the black hole. Nelly do love him, Nelly. When her friends talk about their childhood, Nelly couldn't relate. When they rem remembered Remains the broad of the beloved Java cartoon, the favorite vacation, the cherished family pet. Nelly didn't have memories of any of those things. Well, it was bad memory. Instead, all the room, all she remembered was the constant yelling, the embarrassment when she couldn't afford lunch, the fear as she huddled under the covers. Never at home, even in her own house. The real life when her father went out one day and never returned. That never returned. It was because of Raku who saved you from your father. Well, basically, he ate your father. <laughs> he ate your father. He was trying to protect you. Sometimes she talked to Sana and Sana tried her best. She listened and nodded and said, I understand completely. But that was a lie. There was simply something that Nelly's best friend couldn't understand. Yeah, All Santa could offer were some comforting words. That's rough. That's horrible. I can't believe that happened. As if Nelly's favorite television show had been cancelled, or she cracked her phone screen, or she had a gotten D on her latest exam. It wasn't Santa. But it didn't make Nelly feel any better. Eventually, he stopped talking about herself altogether. That changed when she met Raku. Hmm. Okay, Raku is a special person in my heart. It wasn't some dramatic encounter. They were standing in line at the library, both waiting to check out a couple of books. Yeah, they wanted. To read books, Raku noticed the keychain hanging from her backpack. A small light and blue pixel art spaceship from Space Blaster. Then they reached the front of the line and Nelly handed the light again. Her books, they were still excitedly chatting about their favorite two games she promised to land Raku one of her cups and they exchange contacts. Okay, by the moment they got to know each other. Nelly didn't talk about herself. At best, they talked, of course, but it was usually about their shared hobbies. They liked different genres and played in different ways. Raku fanside punching difficulty and expensive exploration while Nelly preferred mythological leveling her characters with op optimizing strategies still they had plenty plenty in common okay character juga sama um, tapi hubungannya ada 
ada komennya juga di relationship dalam relationship hmm, apa lagi nih aku senang pangshe and it's expensive for Asian partner when the conversation veered but suddenly drop it back into the safety of benign small talk benign small talk yeah Trago had a way of methodically tearing down tearing down her carefully constructed ideas ok rakunya dia tahu gimana cara ngomong sebenarnya ngomongin dalam as they laughed on his bed Paul and Rosie eating too much cheap pizza cheap pizza the walls start flipping out of your mouth one by one ok for Nella Iraq was different when he listened to her darkest thoughts he didn't look at her with a pity skepticism, disgust or apathy he looked at her with understanding as if he had been with her every step of the way <sighs> berdua waktu dia nya kecil sakit sakitnya sama aku had exactly why they had to break up yeah that's why you know she couldn't involve him in her life or her problems she had to end it ini ada masalah tapi ini agak mau ngomong Nelly warmed their hands between their bodies and pushed Draco away falsely be kind, be cool, be fair, be cool I am trying to be mean to push him away maybe it will help and well stop it doesn't lead to a bad ending you never want to love anyone but me what sappy dramas have you been watching <laughs> i'm sorry he can't be that face cut him guys how can i be you're cool? acting like a child wake up this isn't some fantasy people break up it happens all the time <clears throat> Sorry, Raku. <sighs> Nelly mo <more> pain. <sighs> Nelly -nya. So that's it? It's over? Just like that? Yes. Nelly voice will result. Result. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Every time he repeated himself, his face... Even though I've loved you for years... Even though I loved you this much... He lowered his head, dragging a hand through his hair as he turned away from her. He returned to the other side of the bus stop, leaning one hand heavily against the wall. As an intro, then... Gun pins he worn out strange orange sneakers. Hmm, Raku, come you get out. Orange sneaker? Nelly thought about responding. She considered spouting a few words of comfort, reassuring her ex boyfriend with some punchline. It's not you, it's me. I'm not good enough for you. Yeah, it might be job. He was always man. She was his first year's girlfriend. He had told her as much. He had never experienced a heartbreak. He was a child crying over his first crap. Me acting like his leg had been amputated with um, anesthesia. Without anesthesia. Okay. Okay, my man is. She reconsidered and decided to stay silent. It was like uh, it was better if he believed that she was cruel and callous. After a few weeks of sad gaming session and angry rants to his friend, he would probably forget about her altogether. Besides, she couldn't worry about him right now. She had bigger problems at hand. Okay, that's why. 
itu misalnya gede ini yang mau protect pakunya tapi kenapa kita nggak tahu apa masalahnya Nelly he he's frightened when he stood in front of her in front of her again there was something different about his expression something colder more visible result as if he had made made some sort of decision during him moral period of introspection i heard about you and chihun i've seen you two around prickle mm-hmm. ran up nearly fine what about it are you going to start policing who i spend time with i don't see how that's any business of yours People have been talking, saying that you took advantage of your best friend's death to cozy up to her rich boyfriend. Uh, I don't think so. I know Nelly. A part of her favorite. Is, I think, should I save? The but there is all to save. Maybe I should. I'm gonna save it in file one. Okay. They said that you two spent a lot of time together. That you went to his house on Friday. Nelly doing it her investigation. That is something. Is that why you broke up with me? Because you wanted to get together with Jihoon? No, she wanted to know about Sana. Dead, I guess. Do you love him? I don't think she loved him. Her in love with Jihoon. The very thought made Nelly want to vomit. She would rather date an insect, which is typically that what she's doing, but she doesn't know it <laughs> because Raku is. Um, uh, I say nothing. Mm. She didn't want to lie, but if she stayed quiet, then maybe Raku would come to his own conclusion and drop the matter. Yeah, probably I should stay silent. Nelly should stay silent. What am I supposed to do? What can I say? I don't want to lose you. Uh huh. His voice was soft and quite almost pitiful. For me, a world with only you is enough, Nelly. I only need you, no matter who you are or what you've done. Uh huh. You don't need me. You don't even want me. It's not that, Raku. Dia itu Raku. Nelly mau seperti kamunya. Nelly opened her mouth to respond, but no words came out. She simply stared at Raku's face. I went in. Why didn't? When she finally responded, she didn't say the word that she had intended to say. Okay, Raku. What are you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Raku reached up and touched his face, tracing his fingers over his eyebrow, reach along his mouth, and down his chin. Oh, Raku! Oh no, I got a little worked up. Wait. Okay. Did he became? Did he transform himself into spider? Nella leaned back on her elbows and put Raku square in the chest. He coughed as he. As the air was knocked from his lunge, landing his heart in the puddle of concrete. On the concrete, she broke off into run down the road. She left her bike at the bus stop, but she didn't care. The only thought her head was hungry. <laughs> okay, she panicked. Takut dia nya karena rakunya je transform jadi spider. The raindrops pelted her face. Painfully, but she didn't stop to put her hood up. Every time her energy started to went to wane and her space lost, the image of Raku face flashed under her eye light, and she ran, she ran faster. After she had sprinted for twenty minutes, she dared to glance behind her. He wasn't following. Okay, Raku, but she didn't stop running, not for a second. By the time she made it back to town, it had stopped raining. 
and the sun was high in the sky ready to make the trip down as she approached her apartment building the town was the died died in sunset who is who is and the sky was beginning to dim she sprinted to the entrance locking behind her every so often when she was inside the dared up she did she did up the stair with a frantic step <sighs> Nella went up to her apartment and fumbled her keys out of her pocket she slammed the door shut behind her the first thing that she did when she entered the dark room was scoop up her cat whose sashayed up to her mewing meowing for attention and food Nellie forcefully turned the lock on her door as if she extra effort would somehow make the ball more secure you sure about that because Rako is a spider and he is stronger one as she checked the lock the lock Rako had the key to her apartment <laughs> what are you gonna do, Nelly? Nelly dropped her cat and dragged her bookshelf in front of the door. She hoped that would be enough to stop him. She didn't. She crouched behind her bed, holding a broom with her kitchen knife duct tape to the end. She didn't know that much about the uh, weapon. Oh, look at that! The colorful kitty, guys! I remember my cat colorful uh, okay the end she didn't know that much about weapons and this improvised spear or the best that uh, she could come up with from the items in her house as she waited and I examined the shady tool could she really use it against Raku the raku that brought her rice bowl when she was too tired and stressed to cook. The raku that always seemed to know when she wanted a hug. The raku that... The raku that... Nelly gripped the shaft of the broom. She could... She could do anything to defend herself. She would do anything to defend herself. Oh, come on, Nelly. After all, she had done it before. A couple of hours passed. Every time Nelly heard footsteps cracking in the hallway, her hair jumped and she grabbed her Mac shift weapon. But each time the footsteps faded away without approaching. Mm. Eventually, she relaxed enough to venture to the kitchen where she opened a tin of cat food for her increasing loony companion. She put the content of the yellow bag in the freezer before eating a quarter of leftover sandwich, keeping close eye on the door. Okay, she she is she panicked after she after seeing Raku face. Oh come on Ellie. Monday passed. Tuesday passed too. The only visitor that she received was a spider that appeared on her closet door and stayed for a while. Apprising her with the cu curiously icy eyes. Okay, it's Raku. Every few hours, it will change its position slightly, moving to the bed post, the ceiling, and finally, it will train hanging over the window. Uh, Raku is with you. He is not even trying to help you, girl. Her phone buzzed. Calendar reminders about her classes, messages about her missed tutoring session, email from her lab partners, and her thesis advisor. Eventually, she turned her phone off altogether. Come on, Nelly. You should have opened up your ex boyfriend, I mean, Toraku. On Wednesday morning, a sharp rap came from the door. Nelly handed next to her bed. Hotly next to her bed, holding her cat close, she worried that her bookshelf would be out. A human voice emanated from behind the door. It wasn't Raku. Nelly owns. Okay. This is the police. Oh, sh. It definitely. I will definitely wait for me. 
Okay, we got... I guess this is the cool ending. I guess. Well... Please leave a like and subs. Please subscribe, leave a like, comment down in the section what uh, thoughts what thought you guys have and what game you guys want me to try I'll definitely try them and, and I hope I can see you in my next video Ta-da!